What's up guys, this is Critic Rush and welcome to episode 3 of my FIFA 15 Road to France series. What this series is all about is a traditional road to gold with my own slight twist. Depending on the results of the games will depend whether we can upgrade or have to downgrade a player. We're going to start off with a silver non-rare base standard squad which we can only upgrade from. We cannot go below that squad in terms of ratings and uh, you can go and see that squad in episode 1. And episode 1 has also got some fantastic goals so go and check that out. But um, as you can see, we've got a couple of silver players. We are now six out of six games, and that means we've got six silver rare players in. Hopefully, we continue on this trend and hopefully get swiftly on with the silver rare team before we can move into some of the golds. But as you can see, we're going to be going for Dribble Cisse to swap out with Rivier. They're both very, very similar players. Cisse's just got a bit better stats in terms of um, just because he's a rare card, obviously. He's got some higher stats in some places, and uh, hopefully, should be another very, very dominant threat. Um, Bayerbeck, the other striker, is absolutely phenomenal. He'll be the last card I think I'm going to swap out. But to uh, come against this team, another starter team. We've been getting these quite often. But I think once our team starts progressing in terms of rating, it's going to get a bit harder, especially in seasons. But he's got some goal players. Nicholas Benter, always a threat up top. Um, but um, we're going to go into this game here in the sixth minute, straight early on in the game. Bybeck picks this ball up, a lovely back heel into Rivier, over the top ball into Ezerich. And uh, he's just going to blast this past the keeper to go and make that 1 0 in the, the seventh minute there. And um, this was a great start indeed. This squad, I, I don't know what it is about it. It doesn't look like, it, yes, it's got some very, very good looking players. But it, in terms of card stats, not their actual appearance. But he then goes to score the goal there, sorry, to make it 1 1. But it's just absolutely phenomenal. It just plays very, very well. Yes, I'm not coming against the strongest opponents, but the goals I score, um, the chances I create and stuff like that, the amount of long shots I've scored with this team is absolutely incredible. We go and make that 2-1 there, and we're going to pick up a corner here. Ezra's going to whip this bad boy in on to the path of Van Quir. Unfortunately, that ball bobbles around, falls into the path of CDM, and a very, very nice, tidy finish there underneath the keeper to go and make that 3-1. And this guy had enough. There is another rage quit. I think that is now three for this series in three episodes, and um, we are doing fantastically well. That is now seven out of seven. Uh, we do eventually get the loading screen up, and I believe we have gone and won. I think we've gone and won the division, or I'm not too sure. Uh, we're very, very close. So that's more coins, because um, this is a fresh account. It's quite hard to be able to buy the players. Um, but um, I seem to be coping at the moment until I get into the gold ones. It may get a bit harder, but Rivier has been a fantastic force up top for us, a Newcastle striker there. Definitely, definitely recommend him. But uh, hopefully Cissé can go straight in, get some goals, pick up some assists, and Bayerbeck is just going to be a goal-scoring machine forever. He is very, very good up top. Cissé and Rivier have some very, very similar stats in terms of um, high uh, work rates and stuff like that. But uh, the next player we're going to go for is this player here, Mavuemba. Um, Leon, normally in a centre mid position, thought he'd work quite well in the CDM spot uh, to go and swap out Bang Queer. They're both very, very similar in terms of um, stats and stuff like that. So I think it should be just a like-for-like -like replacement. And um, I hope... Hopefully he should do the job there in the CDM spot um, because he is more, I think he's more high, high, so high work rates um, for both. So he's going to be up the field, down the field, whereas the other CDM is very, very defensive. So hopefully that would work quite well, especially in the three at the back formation. But uh, we go into the second game of the episode. Hopefully we can win this one. And again, another starter squad. He is slowly progressing what it looks like is going to be ending up a Bundesliga team from the plays he's got so far um, with an awkward goal player up top. But um, hopefully we should go and easily win this game. And and they're going to add another win to the board here. Uh, but um, the ball gets cleared out here. Not a good enough clear as, as Dossivi is going to pick this up on the right mid spot. Cuts inside and he's going to be pummeling into the box. And just blast that past the keeper to go and make that 1-0 there. And we then move into the 16th minute here. Outside the box, Cissé finds a nice ball into Ezric. And a very, very nice finish again from the Frenchman in Cam there to go and make that 2-0. And then move into the 30th minute here. Bayerbeck picks up the ball. Quick 1-2 between Cissé and Bayerbeck. Leaves him 1-1 one -on -one with the keeper. And a Bayerbeck, I thought he was going to score that. Eventually that ball somehow gets into the back end there. Um, I think I was just running too straight on in terms of the keeper and um, it was just a fairly straightforward safer and probably should have angled it a bit better or gone for the finesse shot. Um, but uh, he then goes and picks up a goal here um, in the um, just it, just before half time to go and make that 3-1. Um, but um, he then gets it up from this keeper here. He's going to go and throw that out. Um, my player, Bybeck, I think that is, whipped in front and uh, finds a lovely, lovely finish into the back of the net to go and make that 1-4-1. Bybeck, we've seen him score one. Can he score another? Oh man, that came off the woodwork but falls into 
into the path of Diakite. He's going to bang that into the back and let's go and make that 5-1 addition we picked up in the squad last episode, guys. Um, but um, there you go, another win. And that, I believe, is the actual division um, win. So we can move on to probably a new, higher, harder season. As you can see there, in terms of stats, dominated in terms of shots. Possession fairly even. Um, did pick up a consolation goal, but um, it was kind of frustrating. But that means um, we can go and swap out our CDM um, to Mavuemba, who seems to be like a like-for-like a, a -like change. And um, hopefully you should do the job there. Did cost a premium just because he's normally as a centre mid, um, 3k, which is quite pricey. But um, hopefully you should do the job there in the CDM spot. The next player we're going to go for is Willy Bolly, a centre back here to go and swap out. Um, probably either one. I think I'm li I'm liking um, um, what's he called Zuma at the moment. So maybe the other one in the middle. But I like both of them. They seem to be doing well. Uh, Bolly is a bit more pacey option as well, um, and I think he'll do just as well in the centre back position. I think he's got 80 something pace, which um, is very very good indeed. Uh, but uh, we eventually get into a game. Guy took time to ready up. Uh, but I was definitely going to go and play him because his latency was green. Obviously, the addition of the latency bar is back. Um, which, um, for some reason, I'm not too sure why they would take out in the first place. But it is now back. And um, I feel like I am getting some games where, like, it's just like, thank God that is there. Because I can just leave. Because I knew that would have been a horrible game. Um, but um, we do eventually ready up. I'm not sure what I am doing here. Um, but um, I eventually get that ready up button to come against Millmore. And um, again, another starter squad. But he's got some Italian. So he looks like he's doing a rogue to gold himself. As you can see, um, he's got some bronze attack, sell it out players, um, silver sell it out, plus a deadly up top. Palacio and Rossi, two very, very strong strikers in FIFA 15, and Consigli in goal. So this is going to be a very, very hard game, and I think it's probably going to be the most challenging game I've had um, in this series. And I get brought down um, early on in the game to go and pick up a penalty there. I get dragged down in the penalty box, and I'm going to go and put Ezric on this penalty to hopefully go and put that into the back on there. It's going to give us a nice early start, and uh, hopefully go and end up winning this game. And um, I get fairly lucky here. Not the best of penalties, but enough power there to just bounce off the keeper's legs. And then he goes and picks up a penalty. I thought that was a very, very good, solid tackle. In my opinion, from seeing that, maybe not in slow-mo, but I don't think that was a cha bad challenge at all. He kicked the ball. I just closed that down. Um, so I think that's a 50-50, which is kind of frustrating. Uh, but he does go and score this. I'm not too sure. Guys, is there way, any way of saving penalties or reading where they're going to put them? Tell me that in the comments because I'm absolutely shocking. Eh? I just stand down the middle the whole time. But an over-the-top ball there into Bayerbeck. A lovely touch to get it past the centre-back there. And um, unlucky with the finish. But falls into the path of Ezric. who's going to put that into the far right-hand corner. Picking up two in this game uh, to go and make that 2-1. Then moving to the 66th minute here. He picks up a free kick. And um, normally these free kicks in these positions aren't challenging at all. Um, but he finds a nice ball into his player. Quick pass there. Leaves my defence in absolute shambles. And um, Palacio here cuts inside. Should have tackled him earlier because he just doesn't. Skills me up. Gets into the box and goes and makes that 2-2 in the 68th minute there. Like I said, Palacio is deadly. And then um, straight just after in the 75th minute, he goes for a shot. that gets palmed out by the keeper for a corner here. He's going to whip in this corner here. Out for the header. And um, I should have closed that down with my player there. Um, he passes it out and get rid. That that is a ball is a get rid. I would have been on the counter attack if I sent that down the field. Um, my player there, injured player. What can you do about it? He's on that floor. Doesn't give a shit about the team. And uh, he goes and scores once to go and make that three two. And uh, this looks like it's going to be our first loss. I went on ultra attacking to try and get anything, and uh, he's going to put another one in the back of there. And this game was lost, and it was extremely frustrating because. I don't know, it was, it was like the strongest team we've come up against in terms of, um, chem like, it just shows you that chemistry is important. The fact that this guy, we're both even in terms of chemistry, he didn't have the best of players, but he did have some very, very strong players, and I didn't capitalise on some of the chances I had, and that's going to be to our first loss. He probably didn't deserve a 5-2 lead, but I just gave up towards the end because I was extremely furious, especially with one of the penalties. I think that was a fairly fine challenge. But uh, that still makes it eight games, um, one loss, which isn't too bad at all, guys. Remember to hit that like button. Also, remember to subscribe. Stay tuned to the series. And we're not going to downgrade because we don't, can't downgrade further than a silver non-red card, if you were thinking about that, guys. But this is going towards the end of the episode. This has been Crush. Till next time, adios.